But I go back to my collegiate experience, and one of the things that we did was a lot of fake college business projects. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I'd go and create a fake coffee shop, run me the fake financials, <laughs> run me the fake, uh, you know, marketing campaigns and all these things. And now that I'm older, I look back and I go, well, why weren't we just actually having the young people start a business? Because it's so much easier to tell someone, well, I'm going to spend 5,000 on marketing and then I'm going to spend, you know, 5,000 on cups and I'm going to spend 5,000 on machines. But instead, if I was the professor of that class, I'd say, here's $20. A plus is the person who turns that $20 into the <laughs> highest amount of money. And you guys have two weeks. I'm reminded of, uh, <laughs> one of my all time favorites was Rodney Dangerfield. I just, I just <laughs> would get such a kick out of him. And he was a guy that I really would have liked to have had the opportunity to meet, but yeah. you know, he had that film back to school okay. and, uh, he goes to, uh, the college that his son is going to and struggling and dealing with a lot of problems. And he had never, you know, gotten his degree. And he's in a business course where this stuffy professor yeah. is talking about it and <laughs> talking about what those things, like what you're doing when you're starting a business. And then, and then he blurts out, oh, you're forgetting a whole lot of stuff. Uh, and, and then everybody is feverishly writing notes because they know that he's the guy that really knows. 